Twin Cities Adventures and we're with our Breville Smart Oven Air Fryer playlist. And in today's video, we're gonna air fry Parmesan and pistachio crusted walleye. Look mm. at how delicious that looks. That looks so good. Here we have some cleaned up walleye fillets. And right here in this mix, we have some ground up pistachios, some Italian herb breadcrumbs, some olive oil, some Italian seasoning, some cayenne pepper, and some Parmesan flakes all mixed up. So put enough olive oil in there till it's a little bit damp like wet sand. And then we're gonna put these walleye fillets on the air fry basket. We're gonna put mayo with olive oil. We're gonna cover the fish with that. And then we're gonna pat this mixture on top of it. Okay, here's our walleye on the air fry basket and there's a little space between each of them. Now we're gonna take this mayo with olive oil and just spread that on there and we'll brush it around. Okay, we've got a nice strip of the mayo on there. That's what the fish looks like with the mayo on top. So just brush it all over the edges and you can discard any extra. All right, now we just had a few extra pistachios, about a dozen of them. We put them in the little mini grinder, we ground them up, added the Italian herb breadcrumbs, just a big pile in there, and then just a big giant pile of Parmesan, and then the Italian herbs and cayenne pepper, and the olive oil, and just mix that all up. So that feels like wet sand. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and just put that all across this fish. And it's gonna be messy, which is good because the fish is gonna be delicious. So just start spreading that all over your walleye. You can use any white fish you want for this recipe. I suppose you could do salmon, you could do whatever fish you like. We just chose walleye today because we wanted to and every time I go to a fancy restaurant, they always have Parmesan crusted walleye and I've seen pistachio crusted walleye, so we did Parmesan pistachio crusted walleye. That looks pretty darn good to me. All right, here is what's going on here. So this is an air fry basket, so that means the heat gets it from all angles. And because we're using the air fryer with the air basket, that goes on level three. And then I bought a cookie sheet and then I put a copper liner right here on that. And you can see that in my previous videos. I'll add a link to the bottom of the video where you can buy those and I cut that to fit. So I'll just put that there. And what that'll do is protect your heat bars from getting all too much gunk put on there. And then I put this rack on the bottom here. And then that will go right there. And then underneath here, you can see I put a copper mat underneath that. So I just cut that to fit also. These copper mats are great and easy to clean. Okay, remember, this is for our Breville Smart Oven Air Fryer. And we're gonna, and this is a learn as we go playlist. So we're gonna do 400 and we're gonna do about 12 minutes or so and check it and see if it looks good. And we're gonna put that on super convection because I want that nice and crunchy on the outside. So we got 400 degrees for 12 minutes air fry on super convection. I turned the frozen off. So we'll let that preheat and then we'll put our pistachio and Parmesan crusted walleye in there. And like I said, we'll check that after 12 minutes to see if that looks good. If we need to continue, then we'll continue cooking that after that. Now we'll put some cracked pepper on top. And some cracked salt. Okay, that's all preheated. There's gonna be a bunch of dripping. So once again, that's why this is down here to protect those heat bars. And that's on, wait, that's too high. 
All right, we'll put that on level three. And then the drippings are all gonna go on here so that protects the heat bar, remember that. So 12 minutes at 400. We're gonna test that and see how it looks on super convection. Remember, frozen is off. We're not gonna flip it. It's gonna remind us to flip, but we can't with Parmesan and pistachio crusted fish. Look at how good that looks already. And it's not even cooked. So we'll see you in 12 minutes. You know why this is a learn as we go playlist, right? Because my specialty in the kitchen is experimenting. That means when I come up with the idea, I have to run with it. I don't always know all the answers. So we experiment in the kitchen together. Okay, we got about three and a half minutes left. It wants us to rotate, but we're not gonna. We're not flipping this and it's looking pretty good. Let's get a sneak peek at that. That's looking really good and almost a little crispy on top. So now I'm gonna turn that super th convection to regular. All right, so that's just gonna slow down the fan, which slows down the air blowing around. So it's crispy enough. And when you turn that convection button down, it won't burn that now. Because if we kept it on high, it'd burn it. Now I've done a lot of cooking in this and air frying and convection oven cooking. So that button for the convection is really key to know about. So sometimes you'll cook something or air fry something and you'll have it on regular and your meal will not be crispy enough. Remember you can turn the light on here. So it's a bummer when it's not crispy enough. Like when we did chicken kievs once, they were not crispy enough. So then it was a lost uh, opportunity. So I prefer to do it on high convection. And then when I see that it's good, then I'll turn it down to low and finish cooking. That's better than not having your meal crispy enough. All right, let's turn that light on and look at what's dripping down below. Not a whole lot, but I'm glad I caught that on the copper lined cookie sheet down here. That way it doesn't hit those heat bars on the bottom because it's easier to clean these copper sheets. They are just a dream. And you can see that the convection is above. It's like right in line with the air fry basket. All right, let's put this aside and check that out. So end, stop. All right, let's check our cooking here. We'll just split a piece of the fish over here. Let's see what that looks like. That is perfectly cooked. Yep, that's perfect. Cooked all the way through. See at 12 minutes, it's perfectly cooked in the center. Let's do a taste test now. Here goes. Mmm. That crunchy crust is delicious and it's got a zip with those added spices. So delicious. I would definitely make this again. Thanks for watching. Twin Cities Adventures out.